It's ready to fly. When it leaves our plan, it's ready to fly. There's no second guessing. It's, it's ready. That's my number one priority, safety. If I can't do it safely, I don't do it. If we don't do our jobs and produce good flight hardware, we know it will happen. It's more than a job, it's lives are at stake here. I'm proud of the quality that I can put out. And you keep trying consistently of putting out something better. We're obligated. We have a contract with our crew to make this as safe as we can, give them reliable hardware, the highest quality that we can provide. We do our job the best we can out here. And uh, I put my life on the shuttle. The shuttle team has a tremendous responsibility. Total excellence in our manned space program. This means that each of us is party to an unwritten contract with the flight crew. Human lives are at stake in everything we do. And the legacy of continued discovery and accomplishment for every generation to follow is determined by how well we perform today. Our obligation and duty is clear. Every spacecraft that leaves the Earth must be the very best that human minds and hands can build. Safety and quality. Quality and safety. 100%. 100%. 100%. 110%. The safety, the quality, the dedication of the people. Safety and reliability, it's the mainstay, it's in there. Flight crew depends upon us. There's no stone unturned. Strap me in right next to him. Before I climbed on board the Orbiter Columbia for the STS-1 flight back in 1981, I was very much aware of the skill and effort it took by thousands of men and women to assure the quality of the hardware and software John Young and I were going to fly. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. Now as director of the space shuttle, I have an even greater sense of the need for every person associated with our program to maintain total quality in their work down to the smallest bolt or wire. The astronauts who fly the world's most complex machines know that they must do their job right the first time. And every product you work on and provide to the astronaut crew has an effect on their ability to perform critical mission tasks. You don't get a second chance in space. Well, and just to put myself in a position, if I have to be the one that's going to have all of this thrust behind me, I would want to have the thing done right, because uh, one chance is all you have. Safety is always a stress so that everyone understands that, that their lives and other lives depend on our safety and the importance of making sure that we do our job right the first time and safely. We carry a, a good load on our shoulders. we got to make sure that the quality assurance that's involved in this type of work is correct and safe because when they, once they launch that bird off, if something's wrong, there's no turning back. Everybody's attitude is to uh, make sure it's done right. I'm, I'm, and I want to really express that because everybody that I work with out here likes their job. I like my job. I like doing what I do. Most people like doing what they're doing up there and, and want them to build a, a, a good product. And, and I think we are now. It's checked, double checked, triple checked before it leaves here. You know, we work together and uh, make sure the job's done right the first time. Throughout the history of the space program, the pursuit of quality has taught us that as good as we are today, we must be better tomorrow. Not by a little, but by a lot. Perhaps the greatest lesson we have learned is that the quality process is continuous. Let's go to the next step, let's do it better. Continuous improvement. Continue, continue, continue. And that's something we have to just keep preaching to ourselves over and over. 
we ask questions. We won't, we won't just take it as it is. We look at it. We, uh, people come in, and if they're not sure, they'll ask questions before we may let it go. Now there's, even at the slightest thing, they'll come up and ask a question about a piece of hardware, maybe not perfect, or, and that's what's really making the system a lot better. That's really how we are building better hardware. It's because more people are involved, more people are looking at it, and more people are sure that it's a good piece of hardware. America has long been the leader in technological achievement. And nowhere is that technical leadership more visibly displayed than here in the National Air and Space Museum. But no matter how well a spacecraft is made, safety margins in manned spaceflight will always be small. Our challenge is to drive those risks to as low a level as possible. The very least thing that uh, may come up is a potential, is uh, looked at thoroughly, and uh, whatever ends we have to go to as an overall program, not just us in our contract, but um, whoever's involved, they go to that length to assure that uh, there is safety on that vehicle. This is a very unforgiving engine. There are very few components that are not critical. And it has worked well in the past, and uh, we'd like to keep it that way. Anytime there's work done on the engine, there's a government inspector here. The extra set of eyes is just to ensure that everything's done right. Tolerance for error is, is almost zero here, and that's why we have so much quality. It's just something that where every detail has to be looked into. There's just no compromises. You're at risk. These people that ride this vehicle are at risk. It's just 100% all the way. If there was a failure in the safety chain, we could have an aborted mission or the possibility of loss of life and loss of vehicle. The chain is broken if I don't do my job. In many ways, leadership is the key to safety and reliability. The management team assembled within NASA and industry is one of the finest anywhere. But only a strong and open relationship between employees and management will assure total quality. Management does not have all of the answers. Many of you have ideas about how your job can be done more effectively. And the people closest to the problems often have the best solutions. Our management team depends on you and your knowledge of the job you do to define areas that may prevent you from delivering the finest product possible. We pretty, pretty much work as a team. Uh, if I run across something I feel like quality should know and it's not in my documentation to fix, I'll get a hold of quality in the quality department and let them make the decision on it or the engineering department. We have a, a weekly safety meeting among the crews and during that time, we talk about safety. Any problems, any questions, concerns, anything are brought up, and they're addressed and looked into. Management has safety flow-down bulletins. Just every aspect of safety, if there is a, a problem somewhere and it's brought up, then management will send out a bulletin. The whole plant can see what the safety problem was. And that way, maybe that same safety problem can be avoided to happen the next time around. One of the most personally satisfying assignments I had as an active member of the astronaut corps was to meet and express my appreciation to the workers after a flight. Whether you torque the bolt that attaches the orbiter to the external tank, or perform the engineering analysis that designed that bolt, or process the purchase order to buy it, or even type the specification sheet that documents its requirements, your part in this program is important and you have a critical contribution to make. We have several ways to recognize exceptional support to the program, including the Astronauts Silver Snoopy Award and the Man Flight Awareness Launch Honoree Program. I think it's the greatest program that we've got going. I think it's, uh, it's one of the biggest honors they can get, possibly give you. It makes you, feel, makes you feel so proud of the job that you do. It also makes you stop and think, well, did I deserve this? Was there not someone more deserving? But you, everybody has does such a great job. I felt um, that after 12 years of working on the hardware, 
that somebody noticed the job that I was doing. It's a constant reminder that uh, every review and so forth is safety and quality, safety and quality. Everything we do is tailored around that. I wish we could have each and every person see a launch down there, just to feel that thrill, just to see it, you know, and be a part of it, you know. Boy, if it don't bring tears to your eyes and goosebumps. Every time I see it, I tell you, the hair on the back of my neck, it just raises up. I get the willies, and I'm breaking out in goosebumps now just thinking about it. I think it'll be just, like I say, one of the highlights of my life and, and something that would, uh, will give me a memory forever. The space shuttle is our nation's future in space, allowing us to explore the possibilities beyond the boundaries we have known before. Space station freedom, flights to the lunar surface, Mars, and beyond. All this depends ultimately on you. The challenge ahead is for each and every one of you to do your job as if you were going to don the suit, strap on the harness, and slip on the helmet. And I don't think the, uh, an astronaut that would come out to our facility and, and question anyone that works in this plant would ever walk away with a doubt in their mind that they're not getting the best product they possibly could. Any time that you got the, the pride of the nation and the eyes of the world riding on the craft with you, uh, it has to give those astronauts and other people a certain confidence that everybody's behind them and everybody's done the best job they can. The best way I can put it, I think, is that when you strap in and you're launched, you're not alone. Every one of us is right there beside you. And we wouldn't hesitate for one moment if you got out and we got in and went in your place. Teamwork and dedication, more than just words, they are the essential foundation on which we have built a safe, reliable, and quality space transportation system. Your efforts are a tribute to the human spirit, and your skill, determination, and ingenuity has made America the leader in space exploration. The job that I have right here, to me, is, is a part of history. And I want to be a part of, of the good history that happens in this area with the shuttle program. When my grandkids grow up, I can say, yes, I was a part of that. And then, yes, and I can be proud of it. Well, there's a big generation gap within the agency. There's, there's us old codgers that are about ready to, to hang it up. And we got a lot, a lot of young people who are just starting. It's up to us to look, pass on our legacy, our knowledge to these young people so the circle remains unbroken. And that these, these people uh, have the same dedication to putting out a, a good test and a quality product that we do. Ever since I was a kid, uh, I've had models of, of the space program and their various vehicles, and I had a, a lunchbox that had a Mercury capsule on, and I think that's probably what started this whole thing. And I'm proud to be part of this program now. I'm finally here. The shuttle program is in very good hands. On behalf of the astronaut corps and management, I ask you to rededicate yourself to excellence in everything we do. Together, we will continue to make history. <laughs>